Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use, copyright disclaimer, under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is used permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged and for entertainment purposes only. So let's get into it. There's a lot going on. And I had to do a media blast because that's the best way to get off and talk about all the topics that's going on there's a lot of distraction going on and if you're not paying attention you'll get distracted on of what's really going on interesting how Candace and Kanye and Ray J are working together to come against the K's and the J's so let's listen in on what Candace is saying let's listen in on what Kim is is talking about why so inappropriate you want to talk about your ex-life with P Pete what? Go help the homeless. Go open up something where you can assist people that are low income. You want to do something? Do something that's going to help the people. Don't piggyback on what other people are doing. So let's be very clear. She's doing the podcast because she needs a platform to be able to spew out nonsense. So let's listen in because I'm not here for Candace. I'm not here for what Kanye's now doing. And if Ray J is a part of this, it's going to be problematic because he probably don't know everything that's going on let me just play the video and then we can go from there it wasn't kanye west that put the white lives matter t-shirt on first you did you did by intentionally ignoring what black lives matter would actually mean if it was applied and it's people like this that are exactly the reason why i say what i say in the way that i say it i'm about to eat through your shit now rewind let's run this shit back point by point it wasn't kanye west that put the white lives matter t-shirt on first you did you did by intentionally ignoring what black lives matter would actually mean if it was applied the simultaneous gall and irony of somebody who's on a network that is literally funded by fossil fuel billionaires to push a conservative worldview telling us that we deliberately ignore what BLM would mean is fucking crazy to me. Two, the simultaneous gall and irony of you telling the black community, look what you made me do when both you and Kanye West are incredibly wealthy and could be educated on these topics if you gave a fuck is crazy to me. Three, the fact that you don't fucking realize that you saying black people are ignoring the issues in the community, thus you had to put on the White Lives Matter shirt, is implicitly suggesting that White Lives Matter is antithetical to Black Lives Matter. It's fucking crazy to me. Meaning the whole shit about ALM and all, oh, don't forget about white people because we go through shit too was literally just all bullshit so keep listening do not keep tap dancing it wasn't it according to your logic don't you have some media training how do you community thus you had to put on the white lives matter shirt is implicitly suggesting that white lives matter is antithetical to black lives matter it's fucking crazy to me meaning the whole shit about alm and all oh, don't forget about white people because we go through shit too was literally just all bullshit according to your logic don't you have some media training how did y'all watch that footage back and not realize that you just contradicted the fuck out of yourself and for we'll get to the discussion about what black lives matter would actually mean in a minute after i let you get up real quick it would mean taking a look at the real problem that is happening which is our culture a celebration of perversity pitched to us as if it's diverse Diversity. It's not. It is not diversity that we are celebrating. It is perversity. You said the same thing twice, and both times it meant less than nothing. One, where does culture come from, Candace? Tell me where. If you're trying to make the argument that black people are just genetically predisposed to have a bad culture, please do, and you'll get blown the fuck out of the water. But if I'm going to be charitable to you and assume you're not making that argument, you have to acknowledge that culture comes from environment. And I wonder if there's a connection between the environment in which black people in America were placed in and the outcomes in their culture and socioeconomic status. See, the difference with me is I don't just say shit, I back it up. Here's a study on racism and the effects of the mental health of black people, reviewing the evidence that points to a myriad of ways that racism can have a negative impact on black people. Oh, but it gets worse for you. Let's run back what you just showed in your video. It would mean taking a look at the real problem that is happening, which is our culture. Please tell Tell me how the fuck a BLM protest is the real problem happening in the black community. And then you showed Cardi B as if to say that hip hop and the culture around that is the actual problem in the black community. And now I'm about to show you fundamentally why that's fucking stupid. This goes for anyone out there who believes this too. Here's a study on gang violence in LA, significantly linking proportion of employment and per capita income to gang related activity. Or we can look at socioeconomic status as a fundamental cause of street criminality. And the studies can keep coming because this is not up for fucking debate. The very basis of some of these rap songs that you guys love to talk about are 
coming from the environment in which black people were placed in and their socioeconomic status. Rap in itself did not stem from the happy-go-lucky circumstances of black people in America. So telling rappers to shut up about their experiences still does not fix the fucking system. And before you say black fatherlessness, take a gander at where they're going. Blaming an outcome for the wrong of a system is as stupid as blaming dishes for not being washed properly and not the dishwasher. And this deliberately shitty line of argumentation you love to engage in stems from the tendency of racist people to view black people as more violent and their culture as problematic. But let me make something abundantly clear. You do not care about these issues. If you did, I'm looking forward to your peer-reviewed response to the evidence. If not, keep tap dancing. It wasn't Kanye West that put the White Lives Matter t-shirt on first. You did. You did by intentional... It wasn't Kanye West that put the white... Kanye West... Okay, so... I do want to play. I should have just went ahead and played that. She's going to tell you what's going on. Kanye West, obviously we've been talking about him after he made some remarks that some people are calling anti-Semitic. Now, he was stopped by TMZ after they posted up this letter that they got from J.P. Morgan. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty sad. They just said that they had decided to end their banking relationship with Easy LLC and anything affiliated with them. They also said that uh, he has until November 21st to get his and get out. And uh, this is what Kanye had to say about everything. I feel happy to have crossed the line of that idea so we can speak openly about you know, do things like getting canceled from the bank. A lot of this stuff for me is the richest black man in American history. I guess he just didn't realize that JP st- stood for Jewish people. <laughs> <laughs> so mind you, like I did my video yesterday, Candace is trying to promote this financial institute of a company where she may be the found helping she's part of where here or there i posted the video yesterday you got to listen in on that video so now everybody is saying what in the world why is ray j a part of all of this why loyal customer 15 years longer than 15 years um, and when he shared that letter that he got, which, or he or his wife got, and maybe recapping that situation wrong, who got it saying that, no, thank you. We don't want you to bank here anymore because of who you are. Think about that. She says something I can't repeat. So that's why I had to fast forward that part. Having raped or murdered someone, you could open an account at Chase, Wells Fargo. You could open an account anywhere and no one cares. You could literally kill someone. Conservative See. philosophies, or if you're a conservative who's outspoken, you now have to worry that they're going to say that you can't bank here. A really terrifying notion, and when uh, that happened last year, I turned to my husband and I said, we need to pull our money Wasn't Kanye West? out of Chase Bank, and we need to start taking it to local banks that are here in Tennessee. We did that um, last year at some point. Now crazy thing this paypal thing happens and everyone's talking about it and i swear that i feel in my heart that god is giving me this platform and is motivating me to do things and to take these steps in my personal life and share it with you guys because we're facing a spiritual battle and we are all of god's instruments so in whatever capacity that he wants us to fight he's inspiring us to fight so no sooner do i do this thing um regarding taking all my money out of chase bank um, except for some residual accounts that I needed to wait on, then a man, and you can look him up, I'm going to give you guys as much information as possible, ask me as many questions as possible in the comments, I'll answer as much as I can. There was a billionaire down in Texas, his name is Toby Nugabauer, and he basically ambushes me down in Dallas. And te- Now she says he ambushes her. Anybody that's of good character, they don't need to ambush you. They're going to send you a letter from their business saying, are you interested in checking out what I have to offer? So keep listening in. She's telling on herself. That's why a lot of people are saying she over talks and then she, she debunks what she almost says. She does. Tells me that he has built an alternative. Um, it's called glorify.com, G-L-O-R-I-F-I.com. Not promoting this, not telling people to join, not telling people not to join. This is not a paid promotion. This is not a paid ad. I'm not an attorney. This is not financial advice. This is her speaking, and I'm only giving people educated information on what she is promoting, why she's getting close to Kanye, why she's getting close to Ray J. They need to be very careful because you get with an institution 
that have a building. Listen to what she tells us. She tells us that they have an office that's in a home and several people are working out of a home. So this is not a well-established financial institution. People can literally pack that home up and be gone. And what can you do about it? Nothing, nothing. Keep listening. Okay, so glorify with an eye on it. He shows me the video, which I'm going to post after this, and it's just the most pro-America, leaning into exactly who we are. We are unapologetically First Amendment, Second Amendment, all of the amendments. You can open a checking account, a savings account, a credit card account. And I was blown away, and I said, this is going to be huge. This is the beginning of the conservative economy. Finally, we have a financial institution that is standing up and saying, I, I, I actually want you to bank with us because of who you are. And I said, how can I help? How can I join? He asked me to, uh, you know, join as a co-founder um, and to be the face of, of Glorify. And I said, yes, yes, yes. We were not ready to bring this product to like I was not going to do this video to say, obviously, I'm doing it now early. You can go into the app store. You can check out Glorify. You can literally, I have an account. Oh, crap. Let me actually show you the card. I 100% agree with Candace Owens. And I don't know who he is. But many people have been talking about this. I just wanted to educate you guys on what is going on. She is promoting something for financial gain. Let me see if she talks about how they came into the home. Because one of the original founders of PayPal came out and said this was abhorrent. The former president of PayPal said he was just like, he could not believe the direction that they were headed toward. I can believe it, obviously. You can believe it because we know that the communists are here. Like this is what we are seeing every day seems unthinkable and it has terrified me since actually last year when general michael flynn sent, shared that letter that he got from chase bank i have been a chase loyal customer 15 years longer than 15 years um and when he shared that letter that he got which or he or his wife got and maybe recapping that situation wrong who got it saying that no thank you we don't want you to bank here anymore because of who you are think about that general michael flynn being told, we don't want you to bank here anymore. And he wasn't the first one. There was um, a girl, Laura Loomer, similarly got a notice, other people, but they said they were radicals. Okay, but consider the fact that you can walk out of prison after having raped. They found that they produced or promoted misinformation. Obviously, the word misinformation, as we know from Facebook, just essentially gives them the privilege to censor you for wrong think. So they can censor you if you're an honest person, you get up here and you say, and PayPal decided that they could fine people $2,500. They could take $2,500 out of your account. If you're thinking, oh, just I don't even have $2,500 in your PayPal account, you're forgetting that you've linked your PayPal account to your outside account. So I have to pause it for a second, but she's trying to tell people, one, get away from PayPal. Keep your PayPal. If you're not spewing stuff that is not problematic, you can tell people your belief. This is America. But if you're giving misinformation, that's when it becomes problematic. If you're saying things about different races, that's when it becomes problematic. All lives matter. And I've said that. I've said that. For some odd reason, Kanye and Candace is so pro that they're trying to run for the office and try and change people's minds. So the biggest thing is, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. Believe what you want to believe. Support who you want to support. There's a reason why she's trying to connect herself to Ray J and Kanye and other famous people. She's been climbing the ladder for years. If I'm not mistaken, somebody showed me a video. She worked at TMZ. She was in the background when Kanye had that rant. And check out that video. I did that about two weeks ago. When Kanye was at the rant and he, he was ranting and raving about different things. He was at TMZ. If I'm not mistaken, I think somebody showed that she, she worked at TMZ. Here nor there. She's climbing the ladder. Many people believe what you want to believe. Support who you want to support. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Please like, comment. And subscribe and please hit the notification bell so this is the other thing we're going to talk about Kanye and then we're going to talk about Kim saying the, your comments about Jewish people this week as well is that something you uh, 
trigger some controversy with your, your comments? Do you think that the comment came just out of the blue? Or do you think there was a reason why I felt... I presume there's a reason, so why, why you said what you said. Do you, do you wish harm on Jewish people? No. Do you, do you regret saying the, your comments about Jewish people? So he's saying he don't, he didn't want that out there. I might do the thing later because it's not really tying in, but it kind of tying in. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Everyone, be safe. Focus on healthy and safe relationships. Be around positive and kind people. There's a lot going on. And if you're not careful, you get a lot of misinformation. You literally got to do your own research on everything you need to know. Normally, my show, I'm normally just calm-minded. I'll talk about something. I'll give a little snippet. I don't really deep dive into stuff because something can change a week later, a month later. And you have to remember, a lot of these media sources want you to deep dive in what they want you to report. You got to be careful of that. But thanks for tuning in. Everyone, have a great day.